guys, welcome back to Cast TV. Today I'm going to be explaining um, which types of line to use for which type of lure. So there's three main types of line, the, mono, the monofilament, the braid, and the fluorocarbon. So I'll start with the monofilament. So right here I have some 8 pound suffix monofilament line. Uh, the type of lures you're going to be wanting to throw on monofilament are topwater poppers. So here I have uh, hula poppers and just Bass Pro Shops poppers. Um, the reason you want to throw poppers on this line of line is because monofilament is a floating line. It doesn't have a lot of sink when you cast it. And if you see like it floating right when you cast on top of the water, that's um, going to be your monofilament line if you don't know what kind of line you're using. So that's for top water. I like to use it for top water. It works for me. Uh, you could also use it for underwater fishing, I've done it before, but there, the fluorocarbon is a little bit better for that, I'll explain why later. So monofilament mainly for poppers and top water that's not in heavy cover. So now getting into heavy cover, you're going to want to be using braid, I don't have the actual spool so I just got a little picture for you guys. This is spider wire, um, what is it, 8 pound uh, line. So that's not actually what I have on my, on my rod here. The um, the line I have on my rod is actually 12 pound on my spinning rod and I use this for like punch jigs like I have on here and for frog fishing. So braid is mostly for um, going into like lily pads or deep grass mats. I like to use just frogs that are weedless with the braid and you can also use punch jigs like I showed you on that rod. So braid is mostly for getting through heavy cover because it's very strong and you can rip right through that uh, stuff pretty easy. The next thing uh, is, I've never tried this actually, but I've heard that when you use uh, fluorocarbon line, it actually sinks more than the other two. So this is going to be good for any underwater fishing that you're really doing. So mostly at crankbaits like these or just senkos worms, anything underwater really, that's when you're going to want to be using the fluor fluorocarbon line. I have here Seaguard and Vizix, 8 pound, I'm going to be putting that on my rod so you can, um, you guys can know what I'll be using. This is the rod I'm going to be using my fluorocarbon for, uh, it's my loose and cranking stick. So right now I just have some mono on it but I'm going to replace that with the fluorocarbon. So I can do most of my underwater fishing with this rod because it's for crankbaits, crank and stick. And for the monofilament like I showed you guys, I'm going to be using just my Abu Garcia reel. I'm going to be putting more mono on that. So that's going to be it for the types of line. Thanks for watching.